In this video we're going to look at a NOT gate made with an NPN bipolar junction transistor. So there's integrated circuits that will usually be better but a lot of the inverting properties you could also call this circuit a digital inverter but a lot of the inverting properties you see in other circuits so understanding this circuit will help you understand them. But in any case we got the 2N3904 here any NPN bipolar junction transistor work should work but the uh, pin layout may be different so any case when the transistor is off so the best way to turn it off is to connect the uh, base to ground and doesn't matter if it's through a resistor or not you connect it to ground that shuts it off uh, completely and then as far as the LED is concerned that transistor doesn't exist anymore so there's a current path through the current limiting resistor and the LED 220 ohms is definitely the minimum value resistance you want to use in this circuit. So, in any case, it's off. Basically, it doesn't exist as far as the LED is concerned. Transistor off, LED on. Now, if we flip the switch so that uh, from the uh, base through a 10 kilo ohm resistor, we have 5 volts. The 10 kilo ohm resistor will limit current. Remember, we move the switch there, and uh, current will go through base to emitter. So, a small base to emitter allows many times, probably hundreds of times, the current to go from collector to emitter. And so ultimately, if we flip this to uh, 5 volts there, we'll have enough base to emitter current to get the collector to emitter to conduct better than what the 220 ohm resistor does. So the 220 ohm resistor will set the current based on 5 volts across it. Now, you can see here, well we have that conducting the uh, anode of the LED sees ground as does the cathode so there's no voltage difference there's zero volts on both sides and so the LED will not light up so here we have a truth table and uh, so when the input is high so 5 volts the transistor will be on and the LED will be off as we said before the transistor will take away all the current when the input is off or low whatever you want to uh, say there that makes it so the transistor doesn't conduct at all and the LED is on. The LED is at our output right there. And here is the schematic symbol for the NOT gate. So in any case, let's look at it on the board really quick. And you can see here that we have the 220 ohm resistor, the positive supply, and it's coming to the collector. So this is a 2N3904 flat side to the right, we got collector on top, base in the middle, and emitter at the bottom. Emitter going to ground there, and then uh, at the collector we have the anode, the long lead of the LED, very important you put the LED in the right way, short lead the cathode, going to that jumper that goes to ground right there. And uh, middle pin, the base, we have the resistor, and it's just floating right now, so you don't absolutely have to get it to the uh, negative rail there, but uh, that's the best way to make sure it stays off. So we got uh, low right there, it's off. Now we'll go high, as I said before, and there you can see once we got to a 5 volts, that small base we emitter current is taking away all the current from the LED, and the LED is off. So again, this isn't really uh, a practical circuit, there's uh, better ways to make a not gate, there's integrated circuits. That make it really easy to make a knot gate but it's a possibility and as i said before sometimes you got that inversion going on in other circuits so this is a simpler form easier to understand so i hope you enjoyed the video make sure you check out one of the other ones i posted on the screen click like subscribe the bell all that donate patreon if you can that helps out the most but uh, watching videos helps out a ton i have links down in the description for all that stuff so see you in the next one